Now you all know I love Halloween time because I love to play dress up, but not only that, I really love my mummy. Today's special guests on Man Stowing come to us directly from my dear friend Amy over at Indigo Junction. I saw this wonderful pattern set at Quilt Market and fell in love with it, and she was so kind to not only create the samples, but let us borrow them. Thank you, Amy. I really appreciate all your support over the years. So yes, today we're gonna work on the 12 inch pillow um, from the I Love My Mummy pattern. And down in the link below in our description, we have the templates for the eyes. And we also have the fun little sign that says I Love My Mummy as well back here. Okay, that's, I guess, Amy's mummy. <laughs> Fantastic. So with today's pattern, we're using the Crossroads denim. That's an indigo uh, junction fabric. And this would work great in the French vanilla or the whitewash colors. Um, and for what we're gonna do here, we have a, a minimum of a half of a yard. I would feel better if you had three quarters of a yard. What I did to start is I actually got my rectangle and my square for, I should say rectangles and my square for the pillow body itself before I did the ripping to create the mummy. So you're gonna need a 12 and a half by 12 and a half inch square for the pillow front, okay? You're also gonna need two of these and these are eight and three quarters by 12 and a quarter. I wanna make sure I get that right. So there's two of those and those become the pillow back. From your, I'm gonna call it three quarters of a yard from this point on, just to make life easy, you're gonna to need to do some ripping. We want that shredded and fun, uh, old, worn look on our mummy. That's what gives it so much character. So what I'm gonna do over here is I have a torn side. So from here, we're just gonna come down and mark every two inches. So from there, there's a two inch mark, a two inch mark, a two inch mark, and you're gonna need three of these strips created. And then from that, all you need to do, I like to do this all at once, is I'm just gonna take about an inch long cut into my crossroads denim there, and then you just tear, right? So you're gonna take it, both hands, and give a rip. Even if you don't give a rip, you gotta give a rip sometimes, right? And then here, just like that. And then once you have all three of your strips torn like this, we're gonna roughly subcut these down into 15 inch strips for the, oh, you see all that fiber? I love that mm -hmm. fiber dust, it's delicious. Especially if you're trying to mummify yourself, right? <laughs> now I'm just being goofy. Now, if you want, you can easily just fold these into stacks. We are, like I said, cutting subcuts at 15 inches. It doesn't have to be incredibly accurate, but we are gonna need those 15 inches to kind of be able to go across the diagonals of our um, mummy face. So that's why you need them a little bit longer than 12. And then once we get our strips all built like this, we're gonna start building the decorations of our mummy face. So let me finish these and I'll be right back. So you can see here, I've probably got about 12 of those 15 inch long strips, but before we can mummify our pillow face, we have to create the face itself. So we're gonna need to make some fun eyes. Those are done with just the regular polyester craft felt. So I had some fusible web that I had put on the back and then I cut out some circles. Those are created in that template below for you. And then we're gonna need some fun buttons as well. So I've already gotten my eyes ready. You will need to peel the paper off of the back of your fusible so that the glue is there. Then the glue is gonna go down, and I like to come up into kind of that upper third, let's say, position my eyes, and then I'm gonna put the white down here, like this, and then what you can do, and I really recommend it, is we come over here to our ironing surface, like yay, and if you wanna make your eyes kind of goofy, you can. You know, think about what buttons you're gonna use. I like to use a pressing cloth because I'm gonna get my iron really hot because I have to fuse felt, not just regular cotton. So now I'm coming in with my iron and I'm gonna just sit it on there. And I'm gonna sit it on there and I'm gonna get that really nice and hot. And then I'm also gonna flip it over and press it from the back as well. Kind of like when you're putting those wonderful patches on your Girl Scout or Boy Scout uniform, right? Same kind of a application. So we did that. And then just to make sure everything's okay, I'm gonna come from the back. Don't really need the pressing cloth back here. We're gonna do that. And then I would go ahead and position my eyes 
like you see here in this pillow, those wonderful little green eyes in there. And do be cautious, you don't wanna get your button hole, button holes too out of line or he might be crooked and crazy if you turn him sideways, right? And remember, cats have eyes that go like this, humans have eyes that go like this. So anyways, we try to sew those on fairly straight, like that. So here they would be, your cute little buttons like that. Stitch them down, I use black thread because I wanted it to show up. And then we start building our strips right over the top. Actually, let me show you this way. I have another sample that I've got all the strips put down that I'm gonna bring up here in a second for us. But I like to do it while I'm looking at it. We're just gonna pretend like those are stitched down right now because I'm really excited to show you the layout. So with your mummy strips, and if you look close while you're handling your Crossroads denim, you can tell there's kind of a textured side and a smooth side. I like to work on the texture side. I'm sorry I forgot to point that out before we put our eyes down. So as I'm laying all my strips, I'm just making sure that my texture side is also up. And I'm gonna start putting in some fun diagonals. Now the eye placement is really fun. So I wanted to start there. And this is why that 15 inch was so important so that I could have longer diagonals. And then you just kind of build through and you'll probably use almost all of your strips. And really this loose thread that you would normally be stressing out over and wanting to scream because it's driving you crazy, just take a deep breath and embrace that because that's part of the pillow. That's part of the character that happens, right? So as I come through here, I don't want to cover up too much of the eyes. I build it and then what I really do is I go ahead and I take straight pins and I put them in about an inch from the edge to hold everything. Let me show you this finished sample. If you look real close, you can see the pins again here and I probably, you can't see if I did my sewing well, there is white thread that I've gone ahead and I've basted or stitched all the way around with just the most small seam allowance so that I could hold all of my mummy strips in place. And then what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling those pins back out because we're gonna trim those excess edges of the mummy strips right back down to our 12 and a half inch size for our pillows, okay? So we're gonna need then a ruler and cutter. And I'm laying my cutter right along the edge of the pillow front, assuming it didn't distort too much while I was working. I so badly want to throw those on the floor, but I so badly don't want to clean them up later. So I just had to take a moment. You saw me there going into janitor mode versus quilt maker mode, mummy maker mode. Okay, so just trim all those off. And then while I'm finishing this, you're going to start looking for those other two rectangle pieces, the ones that were eight and three quarters by the 12 and a half. And those are gonna be the two pieces that are used for the back. Okay, so let me see. I've got them down here. So this is what they look like when they start. Of course, they're just regular, good old pieces of Crossroads denim. Remember, we're dealing with the texture side and the smooth side. Our texture side is the finish. And the reason that's important is we want to pre-finish the sleeve, this part right here that goes onto the pillow. So I'm going to create these hems that roll underneath. And so I want to remember just what sides are my right sides of my crossroads. So you can see I actually have created one with a double fold that's about a quarter inch and another one with a double fold that's about one inch. This is the part where you really want to be paying attention to what you're doing. So we're gonna go right sides together. So now I'm looking at my mummy, right? Looking at the mummy. Then I wanna make sure when I'm done, the smooth side is showing. So that is my right side, correct? Like that. Then I also wanna make sure I have my overlap and that my smooth side is showing when it's all done. So that's gonna go down like that. Worst case scenario, if you got it wrong, you could always introduce the seam ripper to the side you didn't get correct. If it makes life easier, why don't you throw a couple of pins kind of through the corners just to keep everything, because we're gonna come back to the machine and with a nice quarter inch seam allowance, we're gonna finish this off, okay? And that is done just all the way around. 
the pillow, but I'm going to mention that I want to start, let me show you, I'm going to start up in this area where I'm just kind of catching everything as I go along. I don't want to start right on top of all the bulk. I want to get a good beginning start up here. So with that quarter inch seam allowance, we're just going to run around the edges real easy. And I'm just going to pivot at the corners. I'm not even going to bother stopping and starting. Here I came over all that nice bulk. If you struggle a little bit, just go nice and slow there. Now, as I approach the corner, I'm just going to go ahead and pivot. I'm not going to sew off the edge. Just coming and coming around there and we're going to finish out the entire pillow that way. Very easy. Okay, I just swung around that last corner and I'm coming into the finish. So I'm just gonna do a quick little back stitch to secure all those threads. Okay, so we've got those threads cut and we're ready to turn our pillow right sides out. Now, as you do this, be cautious because those mummy strips can shift. So you wanna go nice and slow. And one of the things in Amy's instructions that she talks about is you can always take a hand needle and some white thread or cream color thread and go back and tack a few of those mummy strips right into place to keep the character just as you designed on your mummy face. We've almost got it for you. I'm dying to show. And I really had fun. I enjoyed creating my little 12 inch sample because one of my rules of thumb at man sewing is I always try to do all of my own sewing so that I really learn how to do this. Nice. Great back finish, right? And here is my new mummy. So we'll have matching mummies at home. Isn't that wonderful? So again, I really want to spend a moment and say thank you very much to Amy at Indigo Junction for fantastic patterns through many, many years, both in garment and in quilting. We really appreciate it. You probably see these great pumpkins bouncing around on the set as well. That's from her pumpkin trio. And I am dying to hear what all of you are going to do with your mummies here this Halloween at Man Sewing. Mm -hmm.